Now I'm going to go over how to scan and upload a document to Google Drive on an Android device. So the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure you have Google Drive installed on your phone um, and that it's all set up into the account that you want. And if you just go ahead and open it up, I have no files in here under this account so that's why it's blank, but if you just hit the plus button down in the bottom right, you can see this is where you can add files. So you can create new files down at the bottom, create new folders, upload a file, or scan something. So we're going to click on scan because we want to scan a document. So if I click on scan, you'll see it'll open up, and this is my document right here. And I want to go ahead and make sure it's all in frame there. I don't have to worry about cropping it or anything right now. So I'm going to go ahead and um, basically take a picture. We'll do that. And you can see if you don't like that, you can click the uh, arrow here to redo it. Or you can click the check mark if you think it's good. If it's good, click the check mark. And here you go. You can see it's automatically cropped it for us. So you get a bunch of different options here. Um, down here at the bottom, you can you know, um, go back to retake it. You can hit um, this little color thing. And you can change it to like black and white, um, you know, kind of different filters. You can just leave it on what it automatically fits, selects, or put it to normal, whatever you need. Um, if for some reason it's Orion, or oriented the wrong way, you can go ahead and click this button to change the orientation. And then the last button here is the crop button. So if it didn't get it just right, you can click that. You can see here's the original photo and you can go ahead and adjust, um, make any adjustments you kind of need to here. Click done. And then the last thing over here in the bottom left, you can see this plus button. So if you need to scan more than one document, you can go ahead and click that and it brings it up and you can rescan if you need to. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. And so this is all good. So we're going to go ahead and click save. And then from here, you can change the title of it. I'm just going to leave it as is, but you can go ahead and change the title of it. If you have multiple Google accounts um, on your phone, you can go ahead and tap this and make sure you're saving it to the correct account that you want. And then here for folders, if you tap on that, I don't have any folders under this account, but if you did um, through your Google um, Drive account, you could go ahead and put it whatever folder you want. Or in the top right, there's a create new folder button. Oh, let me get back there, click on this. So if you tap on that, you can go ahead and make a new one. And I'll just say scan, click create. So now that's the folder I've selected. So we'll click select. So now you can see it's in the correct folder. And now we'll hit save. And now it's going to take a second to be uploaded. But now I'm going to go to my folders and my files on the bottom right. You see the new um, folder we created. We'll open that. And there it is. Um, if it doesn't pop up there, go ahead and just refresh the page. Now from here, I've got the document. And if I hit the three dots on it, so these three dots right here, I get a bunch of different options. I can click share to add someone through Google Drive if I want. Um, I can make a copy of this document, make it available offline so I can have it offline on my phone so I don't need internet to view it. Or if you just want to send it as an email to someone or something like that, the kind of simplest way, just tap send a copy. And from here, um, you get all your basic share options that you would, you, you would have. Um, I recommend sending it as an email. That way the person on the other end um, gets the scan at full quality. If you send it through a message, a text message, it might downgrade it or something like that. So you can go ahead and if you just click on that, It'll bring up the normal email page and you just type in whoever you want to email it to and send it off and it'll send it as an attachment. So that's how you can go ahead and scan um, documents and then share them if you want to um, on Google Drive on an Android device. Hopefully that helps.